Hi, my beautiful Libras, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. All right, my love, so when I was doing your pre-shuffle for the rest of April, we got the Two of Wands with the Ace of Cups. So what I'm getting here is, first off, there's someone that has been in a deep kind of fantasy mode when it comes to you. Someone that has been um, kind of daydreaming about you, okay? You've been at the forefront of this person's mind. And I don't know, I feel like it's like a school crush in a sense. Like this is somebody, you get somebody very giddy. You make somebody feel very giddy. There's somebody that wants to celebrate you. Um, for some of you guys, there may be something coming up where people are going to be celebrating you over the next month. You may not realize this. This may be starting in May, early May. Um, and maybe at the celebration, there could be somebody that expresses their true affections for you. Some of you, this is um, you being celebrated because of your hard work when it comes to your career, um, your creative pursuits. But there is just this energy of you being celebrated and you being adored and true feelings being revealed. So somebody that you see a long-term future with sees a long-term future with you. And it's a matter of, it, it's just a matter of time before mutual feelings are expressed and the two of you are able to take your first step together as a couple or the next step um, to deepen whatever kind of relationship this is. Because for some of you, this is like a situation ship. This may be an on and off again situation for some of you. Some of you, your coworkers with this person. We have the Six of Cups coming out next with the Three of Wands. So strong fire and water energy coming out so far here. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, or sorry, not Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I actually meant to say Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Sag, Aries, Leo. This could definitely be somebody in your friend circle, uh, somebody who knew you from high school here, but someone has been studying you and they they like what they see, okay? Some of you, you hang out and you have like one best friend that you always hang out with or two best friends that you're always hanging out with. There's like a trio um, or two of you here. And there's just something about you that just truly stands out. You stand out um, from the crowd. You are very unique looking. There's something very unique about the way that you look or for some of you, the way that you speak. Some of you guys are also very soft spoken. Um, you're either very soft spoken or you're just extremely blunt, okay? I do feel like you are somebody that I'm kind of getting like mama bear energy. Like you're very protective over the people that you love. You will do anything to support the people that you love, to show them that you are there for them, that you care for them. You are so many people's number one biggest fan, biggest supporter. And this person wants to be what you are to everyone else. They want to be that to you. Okay. This is someone who's noticed that not all of your relationships that you have with other people are mutual and fair. We have the moon coming out here, strong cancer energy with the moon. Yeah, this is someone that's been feeling deeply for you for quite some time now, but hasn't had the courage to actually come out and express themselves. Because they're overthinking. Um, also, there's a fear of like, If they do this and it doesn't work out, would you even be in their life still or would it just make things completely awkward, right? Hmm. They could also be afraid that they could mess this up. Because this is somebody that's wanted you for such a long time. And you know when like, it's almost like, um, you know, if like you meet somebody online and you talk so long and you get these big expectations because it's been going amazing through your conversations. 
and it just puts a lot of pressure on the actual meeting because you waited so long to meet. I'm kind of getting like this person has wanted to be with you for so long that they've had all of these expectations and now it's just kind of like, okay, what if I can't live up to this? What if I can't live up to this? So for some of you, this could be an online situation and um, someone might have been delaying meeting or seeing one another, but whatever is being delayed is due to fear. And I'm hearing you're thinking the worst about these delays and you don't need to. Okay, what else is going on? We have the Page of Swords. Okay. I am getting strong Gemini energy right now. Okay. Um... I'm hearing there's a Gemini X that can't get over you. There's also a Gemini that does have a crush on you. A younger Gemini for some of you that has a crush on you. It's either someone that's younger or somebody that sees you as better than them in some way, shape or form. Like I think this is somebody that's actually quite confident um, the majority of the time, but there's something about you where you you put this person down a peg or two, okay? They they could just put you on a pedestal. Was there someone that loves looking at you? Like you are, like, there could be some things particularly about your cheeks. Somebody could love to touch your cheeks. Um, you could be somebody that just really takes well care of yourself, okay? Um, you may get your nails done quite often. You may love to wear pink. There's something very, very classy about all of this. Um, I'm also getting a little bit of like a retro energy here. Someone just wants to, I'm hearing a cruise. Um, someone's been thinking about going on a single cruise it may be a really good idea. I, I see, oh, look at this. But yeah, there could be something about a cruise. Um, but in general, I feel like you and this person have spent a lot of time in or around water or you're going to be. Tell me what else Libra needs to see, please. What other messages? Oh, what is this? We have the world in reverse. Yeah, this could be a situation that just didn't work out the first time around and now it's coming back. Somebody that was at a distance that is actually willing to move towards you to make things easier. Somebody who might not have been flexible at one point, but who is willing to be, yeah, six of swords. There's someone that's coming towards you. Someone that's coming towards you with a serious offer, queen of pentacles, the tower. It's going to be very unexpected. For some of you, this was a really, really crappy ending. Like you were not expecting this person to, I'm hearing, have the audacity to try to come back into your life. I'm hearing a part of you, for some of you, um, you may really want to hate this person, but you can't because you still love them. But I'm hearing whatever happened could have been unacceptable. I feel like that's for a small few of you. Because I feel like a lot of you guys may not be aware of who this person is. And so for those of you where this is like an ex and you are aware, um, I don't think that it ended nicely or it could have been distance that, you know, ruined the connection, made the two of you guys um, overthink there was a lack of trust, not from what anything either of you guys did. Um, 
well no it might not have been what you did it might have been something that they did or they could have had a lack of trust because of something that had happened to them but I don't think that the person watching this is the one who did something wrong. Okay, any last messages for Libra, please? Any last messages for Libra? The Nine of Cups. So what you need to know is that there is a beautiful wish fulfillment coming towards you. And for some of you, it's going to be the last thing that you expected. But at the end of the day here, the universe is working with you to give you a life that is greater than anything that you could have imagined for yourself. All you have to do is say yes to what feels right and make sure that you are not giving any time and attention to the things that do not feel right. Okay, the answers are all surrounding you. You just have to... Be present enough to pay attention to them and to move based off of those intuitive nudges and signs that you're going to be receiving. What you focus on is what you're going to attract in this current moment, okay loves? All right guys, I love you guys so much. I wish you all the best and I will see you guys soon. Take care.